Welcome back to Never Trust the Skinny Man Food Review. We're here at Walk Delight on East Prion Lake Road. Now, Walk Delight has not opened their inside since the COVID pandemic, so you have to go through their drive through to order. I'm going to see if I can get a little footage to see if the kitchen's at least clean. Eh, glass is a little bit too foggy for that. Oh, well, I tried. Okay, so I couldn't rate the restaurant on the inside, but I can tell them that they do need to work on their to-go box. By the time I got home, all the gravy had spilled at the bottom of the bag because these two holes at the front, as you can see, had all the gravy spilling out of it. That's something they definitely need to work on. It's not that serious, but as a customer, I don't want to come home to a bunch of mess at the bottom of a bag. It smells amazing. I'll give them that. Let's find out how it tastes. Okay, so garlic sauce, very flavorful. You can taste all those spices that they have rolling in there. The garlic shrimp is very hard to rate because it has its pros and cons. The sauce is extremely good, very flavorful. The ingredients they put into it, like the shrimp and the broccoli, they don't hold up on their own. They need that sauce to taste good. I'm gonna say the garlic shrimp is a 7.8. Let's go ahead and try their fried rice. A very basic fried rice, no complaints for me. Let me try it with the garlic sauce though. Yeah, see, this sauce is what really makes this entire dish. I don't see any sweet and sour sauce on it, so I'm wondering if they coat it with the garlic sauce alone. Let's find out. Okay, so this sweet sour chicken is some of the best I've ever had. Big, plump, juicy pieces of meat. That coating on the outside is perfectly fried. It has a good crisp to it, even though this is heavily coated with some sauce. Now, that garlic sauce, I've already said, is amazing but you can taste that hint of the sweet and sour sauce like they drizzle just a little bit on there. This right here is gonna get an 8.9. Now the combination plate does come with an egg roll. Let's see how it is. Looks very crispy. Let's find out how it tastes. This has less filling than it does the wrapper. The crunchy wrapper that they have on the outside, if you love that, you're gonna love these egg rolls because you can tell they kind of wrapped them twice. The inside, that's usually cabbage and some type of meat. I'm guessing pork in this one. It doesn't have that much. I'm going to say that this egg roll, for my taste, because I like more of the filling inside, is going to be a 7.8. But if you love the outside crispiness of the egg roll, you're going to love this. Here are the overall scores with the value and the service being its top rated. If you get something with the gravy, I'd ask them to double bag it if I were you. The server at the window was very friendly and very prompt with the order. And more importantly, for a to-go order, I had everything I needed in the bag, including utensils and napkins, even though it was soaked in gravy. Food-wise, the garlic shrimp did have a flaw. The broccoli that was inside had a little bit of a watery frozen taste to it, but that sauce was unmatched, being the best garlic sauce I've ever had. This place's value is good based off the amount of food that you get, making this place officially Fat Boy approved.